Was Jesus based on the Egyptian god Osiris? Many people deny that Jesus existed and believe he was a legend stolen from the Egyptian stories of Osiris. Their reasoning is that Osiris' birth was announced by three wise men, which were seen as the three stars of Orion's belt, and these stars pointed to Osiris' star in the east, Cirrus. His flesh was eaten in a ritual-like communion, represented as cakes of wheat. The 23rd Psalm was copied from Egyptian texts, which called Osiris the Good Shepherd. The Lord's Prayer was taken from a prayer dedicated to Osiris, which reads, O Amen, O Amen, who are in heaven. Osiris was called God of the Vine. He was referred to as King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Resurrection, and the Life. And finally, Osiris was resurrected and served as a hope for all humanity. So if this is true, does it prove Jesus was a copy of Osiris? Well first, mysticists need to prove these things are true, because actual scholars tell a different story. First, there is nothing in the Osiris literature about wise men. Some scholars do connect Osiris to Orion, but no one connects Jesus to it, or to Cirrus and the New Testament never says it was three magi that visited Jesus, just that it was an untold amount that brought three gifts. There isn't a single source that ever says Osiris' flesh was eaten in the form of a communion, and I call out any mysticist to provide any ancient source that this was true. The same applies to the next one. No scholar has ever presented evidence this is true. Some have speculated mysticists made this up because Osiris is sometimes depicted as holding a shepherd's hook. But in Egypt, this was just a symbol that represented leadership, which is why pharaohs are depicted as holding them. No scholar proposes this indicates Osiris was seen as a good shepherd, let alone that the 23rd Psalm was taken from Osiris literature. Osiris isn't even referred to as a good shepherd. I can find no evidence of this prayer to Osiris. Some mysticists claim it is from the Egyptian Book of the Dead, but never give a specific reference as to where. Even if it is true, the phrase is very general and doesn't compare to the Lord's Prayer. The phrase Amen in Hebrew does not invoke a salutation to God, but simply means, let it be so. So this would not compare to this alleged prayer to Osiris. We would need to look at the Hebrew and the Egyptian phrases, not look at how they are translated into English and jump to conclusions. Osiris is nowhere called the God of the Vine, but neither is Jesus so mysticists need to pay better attention when they read the New Testament. None of these other titles are ever said of Osiris, and mysticists have not given any sources. Osiris is called God above gods and King of Eternity, but these and other titles of Osiris are far too general and are said of many deities. Finally, Osiris was never actually resurrected. He never returned to a physical existence like Jesus did. He is described as being resurrected, but this had a different meaning to the Egyptians than it did for the Jews. As Jay-Z Smith said, Osiris was murdered and his body dismembered and scattered. The pieces of his body were recovered and rejoined, and this god was rejuvenated. However, he did not return to his former mode of existence, but rather journeyed to the underworld, where he became the powerful lord of the dead. In no sense can Osiris be said to have risen in the sense required by the dying and rising pattern. In no sense can the dramatic myth of his death and reanimation be harmonized to the pattern of dying and rising gods. The repeated formula, rise up, you have not died, whether applied to Osiris or a citizen of Egypt, signaled a new, permanent life in the realm of the dead. So resurrection to ancient Egyptians did not mean a return to bodily life, like it does in the New Testament. Therefore Osiris did not resurrect in the Jewish sense of the word. So given that none of these are true, there is no evidence Jesus was just a myth based on Osiris.